friends and welcome to My Messy Kitchen with Megan Hughes. I'm Megan Hughes and this is My Messy Kitchen. <laughs> I'm not making the entire series about my messy kitchen today, but I probably could with the amount of just general messiness and dirt that is in here. Um, but no, I'm going to be cleaning my, my whole house today. I did one of these videos back in March, like in spring, but you know, it's June now and I've made more messes. So I'm here to clean them up with you guys today. I asked on Twitter if you would like to see a video where I make a handful of household cleaners and you guys said, heck yes, you're interested. So um, I was surprised that you guys wanted to see this that badly, but honestly, I also get asked a lot for like what I use to zero waste clean my house and I've been making more of these things recently and I have already like an all-purpose cleaner that I use from time to time but I'm gonna be making a new one today trying it out from this recipe book so here we are going to be making the handful of goods starting off with an all-purpose cleaner and then we're going to make a carpet sprinkle that you sprinkle on your carpet you let it sit for a little bit you vacuum it up it smells great in the air and gets rid of that odor that vacuums sometimes make I don't know my vacuum does and then we're going to be making a window wash as well and I have some windows to be washed so let's just go ahead and start off with this all-purpose household cleaner and first things first I'm getting all of my recipes from this they're not my own they are Alexa Let's and this is copyrighted from 2001 so these recipes are like 18 years old but we're gonna be seeing today if they actually work I mean you guys will get to see the proof you'll get to see the before and after product. I mean, let's get into it. There's just four simple ingredients in this household cleaner, and I have a funnel and a little spray bottle here to just, you know, capture it once it's all made. But I have my borax, my half of a lemon instead of a whole one because I need my whole lemon for something else. And I don't know where the other half went, used it for a drink or some shit. Who knows? And then I have some biodegradable um, just dish liquid here, which is what that calls for. This is actually not seventh generation dish liquid in here. It's something else that I buy in bulk, but yes, it is a nice biodegradable liquid soap. So that is what we are using today. I have my collection of products and let's just combine them all and then funnel them into this spray bottle, shall we? Alrighty, now I have all of my measuring spoons and tools out as well. So the first things that we'll need is a quart of warm water. How many cups are in a quart? Four. One, two, three, two. Now we'll need a teaspoon of our liquid soap. Checkaroo. Teaspoon of borax. If I can get the lid off, these things are always so fucking hard for me to get off. Oh no. Oh, I need a screwdriver for this. Damn it, Matt Damon. Actually, I might need help. I see what you want. I see what you like. I know what you like. <laughs> Those you fucking people. Borax people. Wow. Wow. Great job. Thank you so much. Don't lose the seat. I won't. Thanks. Now after some strenuous effort, we get our teaspoon of borax. Add her to the mix. Wow, that dissolved pretty quickly in there. And then the juice of half of a lemon instead of a whole one because, well, what can you do? Work with what you got. That's all you can do. Hopefully this doesn't alter my final product too much. I like to put a strainer in there just to catch the seeds so you don't, you know, get a bunch of seeds in your sprayer. It doesn't say anything about stirring it or anything. I mean, it looks pretty combined to me. And now we're just gonna funnel what we can into this bottle because this isn't a quart sized bottle. It won't hold all of it, but it'll at least hold enough for us to use today. Got a little sudsy there at the top. Now we will test out the spray. Perfect. Now I'm just gonna label it and move on to the next product. I just have a big roll of white labels that I just ripped the sticker off of and put them on here for. So you could always use those shipping labels that you can pick up for free at USPS um, or you know whatever post office you go to. Do you know what I'm talking about? The ones that you just grab and go and you don't gotta pay for them. Um, anyways, now this is labeled my beautiful all-purpose cleaner. Let's move on to our Lemo Mint Window Wash. Moving down the station. Now, for the Lemo Mint Window Wash, you're going to need the juice of one lemon, check. Two cups of club soda, and I have sparkling water here instead of club soda, and I'm just kind of hoping it works. 
we shall see. <laughs> and then half a teaspoon of peppermint essential oil, check and one teaspoon of cornstarch. We have to mix all of these ingredients thoroughly. Let's start with this lemon. Now we need two cups of club soda, or in my case, sparkling water. Fizzy. Nice. Half a teaspoon of peppermint essential oil. So about 28 drops of peppermint essential oil is a half a teaspoon. If you guys were wondering. And lastly, we need a teaspoon of cornstarch. Now I'm just gonna whisk this bad boy together. This is what she looks like. It's very fizzy. There's a lot happening in here and it smells great. I feel like a scientist. Now we're just gonna funnel this on in. Great, that one fit perfect. Now this one says to shake well before each use. The other did not say that. I don't think. Oh yeah, it did. Okay, well both of these, you gotta shake before you use them. So we'll keep that in mind when we're using them. I'm just gonna label this. Beautiful. Now for my last concoction, we are making the carpet sprinkle. And we need for this, all of these items. We got some lavender oil, some rose oil, some baking soda, and some cornstarch. And we're basically just going to mix all of these together. And it says to put it in an old talc container or any can or jar with a pierced lid so you can sprinkle the mixture out. I'm just gonna put it in a glass jar and kind of just sprinkle it as I go. I don't really have any large seasoning tops for a quart size jar. So I'm just gonna kind of, you know, do my own thing with that jarring wise. Now for this one, we need a cup of baking soda. I'm really using up my baking soda here. Okay, that's about a cup. Ugh, ugh, I got it in my mouth. Ugh. Okay, now we need a cup of cornstarch. Now we need 20 drops of lavender oil. 20, 20 drops of rose oil. Mix her on up. This one smells really good. Ideally, you should use some kind of a funnel for that situation as well, but I did not, so I made a mess of things. Beautiful. All of my products have been made and labeled, <laughs> and they are ready to be put to the test. The cleaning test. Why are you spewing out things? What's happening? What's happening? Stop it. Is this because you were fizzy? Stop it. I need to lock this guy up. No more spewing. Okay, let's go clean. I'm starting with finding a home for everything on this table. I know this lighting is shit but it's fine. It's, it's the best I can get. My chili is ready. Okay, I'm gonna eat and then I'm gonna clean this table. I'm gonna use the all-purpose one on this, see how she does. Beautiful. It doesn't really have much of a smell, to be honest with you. And it's not really sticky like I thought it would be with the lemon juice in it. So I'd say this is a keeper. I'm gonna keep cleaning with this. Now I'm going to vacuum up the um, fly massacre that's over here. There has been at least 20 fly murders um, by my own volition because they all love to just hang out on this window and then I swat them and then they die amongst my plants. So while we <laughs> were in here. Natural fertilizer. Yeah. <laughs> while we're in here, we'll do a little vacuuming. How about that? Say hello, you big belly boy. Come on. Hello. Hello. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna clear all of my plants out of this window frame so I can clean behind it. Cause it is gross. Wow. Lots of dead bugs back here. Disgusting. Quick tip, clove oil is a natural bug repellent. So I put some in this old lavender oil thing that I had and I just keep it in the corner of this window over here and I just I hadn't checked it since I put it out in about a month but there's like a bunch of dead bugs in here um so we know it works I just ripped a baby off of my spider plant oh my god now I have to plant this in some water okay I'm gonna use my carpet sprinkle on this runner rug in the kitchen and leave it for like 10 minutes while I go and clean other things around the house I would have used it on the smaller rug behind me in the breakfast room but I was just like Mm, no, not worth it. We'll just do it on the bigger rugs, like upstairs as well. This feels so counter 
productive to me to <laughs> sprinkle something all over my floor before I vacuum it. But it smells amazing. Now we conquer the mess that is the living room. In sections. I did not. Everything is fine. <laughs> hey. Ugh, dusty. Look what I just got in the mail from my friend Erin. She does like these linoleum artwork kind of prints and stuff like that. And she just sent me a bunch of them. Freaking sweet, dude. Wow. This is totally wicked. Erin was definitely in some of my, my old vlogs. Oh, back home in Georgia. She said, love you, Meg. Enjoy and have a great day. Love, Flan. Oh my gosh. I love this woman. I can put these all over my office. My talented queen. Those. But seriously, when I was making that carpet sprinkle, I was like, mm, is this really necessary? Like, it's not really a cleaning product. It's more so just like a fragrance product, but I am loving it. I think that it definitely like made my whole kitchen smell so fantastic. It is very worth it. But I'm gonna finish vacuuming and cleaning off. Well, fuck, I probably should have done that first. I need to wipe off my countertops in here, clean the whole kitchen, vacuum everything. So I'm gonna use the all-purpose cleaner on these countertops. See how it does. I love how non-sticky this is. I really just, I can't get over it. I thought that it would be much stickier of a product to use on things, but it is great. Now we're gonna put it to the real test and see if it cleans the grimiest of them all, a dirty stove top. Cause if not, I do have another cleaner that I made that has vinegar in it and lemon. That would be good for it. We're just gonna see if this works. Okay, sure. Gotta put a little elbow grease into it to get the tougher spots out, but you always do, right? So this is pretty good. Yeah, I'd say it can clean a stove top pretty dang well. Okay. Kitchen and mud room are complete. Yeah! Hi, my name is Chicken Hat. <laughs> well, I look really ugly right now. Okay, what I did and didn't film is reorganize everything that was on here and just get rid of books we weren't reading um, and just put everything back that we're actually using right now. And I'm just gonna kind of sort everything around here, fold blankets and whatnot, and then vacuum underneath. Oh my God. Okay, folks, I have literally been cleaning for four hours four hours straight once i was about two hours in i was like holy shit i've only done the kitchen and the breakfast room shit um and i just finished the living room i stopped filming it because i was just like i was kind of over it you know i filled up so much memory on my card already and then i was like i still have to do my bedroom so i'm just gonna speed up a clip of me tidying up up here um for you guys to see and we'll get to doing the carpet sprinkle up here i need a fan I'm so hot. Oh, it's so hot today. So much cleaning. But I wanted to get all of this done before I leave to go to LA tomorrow. I'm meeting my sister Lindsay in LA and I'm going back for the first time since I left. So it's been over a year and I'm gonna see all of the people I can out. Sorry, my eyes watering. I'm not crying, I promise. The reason I actually decided to go is because my best friend Nevin is graduating from college in Santa Barbara. So yeah, my sister and I are going to that. I'm gonna see the family I used to nanny for. I'm gonna see Nevin and I'm gonna do a vlog. So this is me spoiling the vlog that was supposed to be a surprise. But the reason I'm cleaning is because I want to clean my entire house um, before I leave. And Shay and Finley are staying here actually um, with the Hoggos and Larry and stuff. So hopefully they will maintain my work because I've put in work today. <laughs> well, let's get into it. I went and grabbed myself some lemonade in my Pokemon glass. Oh yes, that tastes great. I have to sort everything that's over here 
into clean and dirty. Why, oh, why are men so dirty? Why, oh, why, why, oh, folks it's bedtime not actually honestly I wish at this point I wish it was over but it's not it's time to make the bed and to sprinkle the carpet I should actually probably do that Wow dirty 30 dirty 30 dirty 30 dirty 30 carpet has been sprinkled bed ready to be made Okay, everything that's in this basket needs to be folded or hung up and put away and whatnot, but um, I just don't want to do that right now. The video is probably already long enough, so we're just going to get to using this Lemo Mint window wash I made, okay? Let's clean these windows. Shake it up like they said to. And remember, you got to seal this guy off because, ah, it squirts. Quartz on its own volition. Does this do as it says it does? Or will it just leave my windows looking terrible? We'll see. All right, guys, to be honest with you, it's not, it's not looking too great. I'm gonna kind of wait for this guy to dry, but it's really not looking great. No, just kidding. It looks good. Yeah, just buff it in a little bit. The reason it looks so shit right here is because we need to clean the outside of our windows. But I mean, the inside looks great. I'm really loving that. Let's move on to the other windows, shall we? But hey, overall, I'd say I'm satisfied. Oregon summer, the rain is coming, but you don't know where. There is a humongous dead yellow jacket in this windowsill. I'm spooked, even though it's dead, I'm still spooked. Sorry, old friend. You know your house is old when you try to buff away some dirt and the paint on your windows chips off. This is looking really, really dirty, folks. Let's move on to my bathroom, where it's even more dirty. This stuff smells so good. I'm actually very, very satisfied. There's dead ladybugs everywhere. Oh no. I need to vacuum this. Um, I'm very satisfied with the, the window wash, actually. I know I was hesitant at first. I actually, believe it or not, dusted the surfaces in here not too long ago. So I'm going to do just some bathroom cleaning right now. What is all over my face? Why did nobody tell me that I look like this? How long have I looked like this? What did I eat? Chili? That was embarrassing. Let's get back to it. Hello! The potatoes came up? Wow, that's good. Do you guys think it'll work on a mirror if I use this window wash? Because oh boy, I'm gonna try it and hope for the best. Surprisingly enough, I also don't have to clean my toilets today or my bathtub because I'm not really deep cleaning. I'm just kind of trying out products, trying to, you know, dust things, vacuum things, make everything look presentable. But um, my toilets I actually did recently when I was up here. So no toilets today. And to answer my question, no, this is not a good mirror cleaner at all. Actually, no, once it dries, it's like fine. Hello, me. How is it going? Me, me, me. <gasps> She's a little smudgy, but it's nothing like, terrible and my mirror was fucking gross before anyways so let's move on to the sink the true gross part of this okay the clip stopped recording but i organized it to my best ability and i'm gonna pack some of this crap anyways tonight so looks great moving on let's vacuum up the sprinkle Oh my god, I'm done! <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, five hours and 15 minutes and a lot of sweat later, we have finally cleaned the entire home. So I'm gonna show you all of my wonderful work. <laughs> this is how beautiful our bedroom is looking right now. Really stunning. It's really hot up here, so I have the fan running. And then the bathroom has been vacuumed and cleaned down. And you know, the sink's been wiped as you saw in the mirror. Beautiful. Windows washed. All of them. 
wonderful. Let's go downstairs. Wait, I need to turn off all the lights. I'll do my laundry later tonight. No worries, don't even worry about a thing. I vacuumed this entire staircase. I wasn't filming it, but that's okay. And then this beautiful room. Wow, it's looking stunning. So sorted, so beautiful. Oh, wow. Beautiful cleaned table. My herbs are still drying, that's fine. In here, the only things I need to put away are these into the guest room closet, but Shay's in there, so I just have all of the artwork here hanging out. I'll find homes for it eventually. All of the flies have been vacuumed up. The kitchen, clean. The dishes, done. God bless Shay. Beautiful, oh, beautiful. Even the mud room, clean. Oh, I'm feeling very satisfied. Cheers to being done. Oh, God bless. I love lemonade. Okay, this was a super long video, so I'm gonna head the heck out. I hope you enjoyed helping me clean my home. Make sure to make these cleaners because they were very wonderful. Specifically, my favorite was the carpet sprinkle. It smells so good. Um, and let me know if you do. Tweet a photo to me if you make any of the cleaners. They all worked great. I'm very satisfied. Get that household book as well. I love that book. It has a lot of recipes in it. And anyways, I'm gonna go try to get this chili off my face. I need to take a damn shower. I'm very sweaty. Okay, um, yeah, give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below if you enjoyed it. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Ring the notifications bell if you like to be notified when I upload. And until the next upload, which will probably be when I'm in LA. So comment down below what you want to see me film with my sister Lindsay. Um, and until that next upload, stay smiling. Bye guys.